My name is Cody, I use he, him pronouns, and I live in Youngstown, Ohio. I have an adopted little brother named Carter. He was born already facing a lot of challenges. We adopted him because we really wanted him to have a future where he could thrive. That's really why I got into climate organizing, because I want him to be able to grow up in a city where he knows that he is put at a higher priority than fracking and fossil fuel profit. Youngstown is a huge fracking town and our level of earthquakes have risen dramatically since we started fracking over 20 years ago. Drilling companies are trying to call it a coincidence, but it's not normal. The earthquakes have gotten more frequent and more violent. I remember when I was very little and I just heard like this crashing sound and we didn't even like figure out that it was an earthquake until we talked to our neighbors about it. Anyone who grew up before the 80s will tell you that Youngstown is not an earthquake city and it's not something that people want to face because they think like it's a natural disaster is exactly what it is, natural. They happen, they're supposed to happen. It's the scary reality that these natural disasters that have been happening have been getting more frequent and harsher because of the climate crisis. The science is telling us that we are running out of time and that we need to transition to renewable energy as quickly as possible. We could ban fracking. Youngstown could be a revolutionary city. We can turn the Rust Belt into the Green Belt. The story of the climate crisis is a story of youth because the youth are automatically a frontline community because the climate crisis will follow us for as long as we are alive. It is already hitting so many. It is hitting youth on the front lines, low-income youth, homeless youth. LGBTQ people make up 40% of the homeless population. That means we are more affected by uh, air and water pollution, by flooding, by climate disasters, and it will continue to hit us as these climate disasters get worse and worse. I know that to win this fight, we will need as many voices on the side of climate action as possible. If it was just me that I was fighting for, then it would be less of a worry if I failed because like that's one person. But I think that because this like sweet, beautiful, like amazing love of my life baby boy like is in it, I'll fight like hell to protect him, to make sure that he can have whatever future he wants. I am very determined not to let the climate crisis ruin that. <laughs>